"'Twas the night before Homestead, when all through Cone's house not a creature was stirring, except for Scott Speed, who was being chased by a mouse. The flame-proof uniforms were hung in the hollers with care, in hopes that the Sprint Cup soon would be there. The drivers were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of wags danced in their heads, and Danica in her nightie, and I in my cap, had just stepped out of the hot tub and needed a nap. When out in the coach lot there arose such a clatter, I figured it was old Mayfield trying to pull a B&E. Away to the window I flew like a flash to see that crazy meth head dealing for cash. With the flagman dancing in the sand on the beach, dreaming of the yellow flag he'd soon have to reach, when what to my wandering cone should appear but a shiny pink pace car and eight babes in team mini chief gear. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Mark Martin. More rapid than laps at Bristol, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Smoke, now Carl, now Dinger, now Happy. On Sliced Bread, on Five Time, on Junior and the Biff. To the top of the groove and keep it off the wall. Now race away, dash away, and don't crash all you all. As debris from a crash at high speeds surely flies. When they meet head on and flip into the Talladega sky. So to the top groove the racers they flew. The draft full of cars. Except for old Speedo whose engine blew. And then in a maelstrom I heard such a crash. It caused an extended yellow flag. As I stood strong and proud right at pit in, down came the failed and Kurt nailed me again. He said he was sorry, had never done anything dumber. But I still felt a chump. He so had my number. So at good Dr. Punch flew many F-bombs and a lame video statement on his own personal dot com. His eyes, they were fiery. He didn't look merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. He drooled from his mouth as he cursed up a storm. His sponsors all wished their logos weren't on his uniform. The smoke pumped slowly from his ears, and his wrath was felt by anyone who was near. Then up came Real Helton to tell him to relax, and Kurt cursed and yelled and said, They gave me the axe. He was pissed and mad, a fired-up driver. We all laughed when we heard, except for old Roger. A glare from his eye and a yank of his head let us all know we had plenty to dread. He spoke not a word, stormed away from his work, and left us all to think, hey, what a jerk. Then laying a middle finger, shoved in our nose, up into the back of the holler he rose. He sprang out the side, to his team gave an F you, and the way he flew like he was yesterday's news. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, kiss my ass cheeks, mother the left and the right.